Hi everyone, welcome back to Southeast Exotics. So today we're actually going to be doing a video where uh, a lot of you have re requested this video. And it's actually of like the care guide and everything you need to know about Asian forest scorpions. Now, um, we actually bought a Asian forest scorpion um, on Sunday on the Capital Invert Show in London, which I did tell you that I'm going to rehouse so because this one was um way too small for it so i was thinking why 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 just rehouse it and you know not get anything out of it let's make a video about it because it was requested anyway so i'm gonna literally go through everything bit by bit step by step so you guys understand and know everything so here is a scorpion this is a asian forest scorpion there he is This is a, 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 a Asian forest scorpion, as you can see there. This one is quite small at the moment. He's not that big. He's only, I'd say like that big. Yeah, so not an adult, nowhere near an adult. We have an adult. He's massive, but I can't really show you because he's in another room. But we'll get onto that in another video and show everything. But you can check him out on our uh, Instagram page. But anyways so the first thing that you like i'm going to tell you guys literally step by step if you had no idea on what these are or or anything like that so first of all asian forest scorpions they are predators in a way so they need food which is high in calcium high in loads of um, nutritions and stuff like that so what is recommended is to feed them like brown crickets for like this size these crickets will be perfectly fine they're literally normal um, brown crickets. They're like medium size. So this would be perfect. Loads of other people feed locusts or feed um, feed uh, bigger 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 roaches, which is completely fine. I mean, these are tiny because these are the ones that we only have at the moment. But bigger ones are like this big. But I've I have had perfect success with um, the ones that we have at the moment. So. Before, um, before we get into it completely, um, I just want to say a massive thank you for for everyone that is supporting us and liking our videos, subscribing. Amazing! If if you could get us to a hundred subscribers, it would be absolutely amazing. By I don't even know. I'll set you guys a goal in two weeks. So that's four videos. And we're already on 60. So if we can get up by only 40 more people, which is not a lot at all compared to the viewers that we have. Because nearly 90% of the views we have are not actually subscribed. So subscribe. Please, please subscribe. It helps us out. Not alone us, but helps future videos out. So everything we get, we put back into videos. So it's more exciting videos. We can go to places, meet up with people with chat, which have amazing animals. We can buy for them. So stuff like that. So please, if you can. Drop a subscribe, that's what you need to do, and like and comment our videos, and of course, enjoy them. So, um, so Asian forest scorpions require around 70 to 80 percent humidity, they get to about this big once they're adults, compared to the tail as well. So, imagine that is like a bit so, like I would say, like that body size. So, they they get quite big, and they are honestly like the best starter scorpion. So, before you get into the desert scorpions and the devilite scorpion and all that crazy stuff, which is poisonous and horrible, not not the desert scorpion, but the other one. This is perfect for if you want to start getting into scorpions. This is it. Asian for a scorpion, hundred percent. Nearly ninety percent always on display, so you'll always be able to see her. And yeah. And females grow bigger than males, so that's another thing that you guys need to know. And basically, they only require around feeding every every two to two to three days, so around three times a week at max. But that is depending on if it's an adult. If it's a small like this one, three times. If it's an adult, I would say no more than twice a week, because their prey items are much much bigger. So let's go straight into the rehouse. So I'll push them to the side. So we have decided to go with something like this bigger as you can see and this will be perfectly fine because the other thing is they don't want a lot of room and they're small because they're they're scared they're fidgety they're gonna have problems with finding their food and stuff so something like this is perfectly fine and acceptable so 
I already had this in there before because I was going to use this as their hide because that one doesn't have a hide and this one can fit like here perfectly fine if we just put some stuff in it. So the thing that I wanted to say was, if we just put that there. So again, humidity is vital for, uh, for these species because they come from Asia, um, like from the forests and it's really hu hu humidified there. So you definitely do need something. This one is a female which we know. So we're hopefully going to pair it with our male because our big one is a male. So whenever this gets big, and I would say from that size, I would say around seven to eight months, it will reach adult size. So let's go straight into this. So um, basically for these little ones, something like this is perfectly fine. For my big one, we have a massive one around this big by like the, the places this mouse pad is around, but only to like here. Because they need a lot of room, of course, because then they wander around and stuff. But when they're little, when they can't find their food, it's perfect. So, back to humidity. It's vital for good humidity to happen inside a cage. So, cross ventilation is vital and on top as well. This lid is amazing because it has holes on the side and on the top, which is perfectly fine. Also, what you need is good substrate. Good substrate that will keep the humidity in and not cause you mold and etc. And so, what we use with everything, spider life, the best thing you could possibly get. It holds humidity like crazy. I know lots of people say, use cocoa fiber, use cocoa fiber, it's great. It's crap. It dries out really, really quickly and I hate it. This honestly is so amazing and I recommend it to every single person. So, um, there... It doesn't need to be a lot of substrate in there because they don't really borrow steadily. So around that amount will be perfectly fine. So don't don't put too much in either because then they're gonna then they're gonna just chuck it all around. So there we go. So honestly, something like this perfectly fine. So now let's give it a little shake. There we go. I'm gonna pat it down after I put this in because that's why I need to leave it softer now so I can put it in. So this is completely fine. Perfect. That's around what. Well, Four centimeters of substrate, perfectly fine. So, we're going with the hide. The hide doesn't have to be special or anything like that. They will kind of do it their, their way. They'll form it, reform it, put it somewhere, put it the other way. Put um, loads of substrate around it if they really want, because they just grab it with their, with their little pincers. That's what I like to call them. I'm gonna have trouble getting this one in because I need to tap the substrate down. So, yeah, there we go. But honestly, scorpions are amazing to have. Like, we have been keeping our one for, and we had ones before for, as long as we've been keeping spiders, almost. We actually got our first scorp scorpion later than we got our first spiderling. Um, and that was just because um, I actually thought that every scorpion was venomous or dangerous or, like, anything from that kind of way so that's why i never really got into um scorpions but i uh, someone suggested me the agent for a scorpion and ever since then that is honestly the only thing that's been on my mind scorpion wise i'm not really looking to get into the more venomous stuff um spider wise yeah more venomous stuff cooler spiders are a bit different and that's why i don't really have a problem with spiders but when it comes to because spiders, spider venom can't necessarily kill you, but scorpions, um, scorpions poison, some of them are poisonous enough to kill you. So, yeah. But this, honestly, perfect. Look, amazing. This is honestly all you need for a scorpion that little. Perfect. This is, it can hold, just make sure they can hold it without falling in. I always suggest misting it because, in my opinion, it is, it is great to make sure that it's all misted, it's all nice and perfect. I do suggest putting a water dish as well in for them because um, they might not drink out of it 90% of the time because they get more most of their moisture from the food the same way like spiders do. Um, but this one in particular likes to have baths. So that's why I was like, you know what? It can have a water dish. That's why I have that little water dish there, which I'm just going to grab and put in there for them. doesn't get too mad at me. Ever since, obviously, we got him, we we only got him yesterday. So yesterday was Sunday, so today is Monday when we're making this video. And that was so unhelpful. Right. Um, 
should be fine. So, yeah, so yesterday's, um, so yesterday we was at the show and um, we got him, but he didn't, he didn't really do much moving and I believe it's because of the space. So that's why we just decided, you know what, we'll just give him a, a, a bigger space. But yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's get a little zoom in. There we go. So it's honestly, it's completely perfect for it. So here he is, the little scorpion. Um, I'm going to try and get him in. There. So literally, shush, give him a little tap. Yeah, he's a bit pissed off, as you can tell. And he hasn't really been, like, he didn't really accept any food or nothing. So I don't know. It's probably because of he's stressed or something like that. So, yeah, he's quite annoyed. Oh, um, I mean, I could grab him by the thing, but mm, no. So we're just going to do the same thing as we did. When we first got him in there, we're just going to move him. So when you just rehouse it, just be careful. Slowly just push it just nicely. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Don't be scared of it because there's nothing to be scared of. They're not quick. Like nothing can physically happen to you, to be honest, in 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 any shape or form. But yeah, there you go. Now he's a little feisty now, but he's got a bigger, <laughs> he's got a bigger, look at him. He's got a bigger space now. And he actually has a hide now, which is going to make him feel a lot more comfortable. Okay, you can put them pincers down now. Oh, and the other thing that I forgot to mention was Asian forest scorpions actually don't use their, their stingers. They mainly use just their just their little arms because their stingers don't contain any venom or, or anything on sort of the lines. So yeah, that is literally it. That is as simple as it gets. They're beautiful. They're amazing to keep. And yeah. But before we do end this video, I do want to say I definitely recommend buying uh, buying a scorpion, especially a uh, a um, Asian forest one because of how amazing it is. I'm just trying to get the, this bloody label off. But yeah, no, I definitely I definitely recommend getting a Asian forest scorpion. Um, they are great pets. Um, they are handleable. Um, I never I never handled mine to be honest, the bigger one. I did try and handle this one yesterday. I put him in my hands for a little bit, but um, yeah, not not for not for a lot, not for a long time. Only for a couple of seconds. But yeah, honestly, this one's a female. But yeah, honestly, it's an amazing species. But before we actually go, I wanted to do a few feedings for you guys because lot because um, this one actually this is the one that that we got yesterday. Our little curly hair, and this one ate. Um, not well yeah it was yesterday but I had to give him a little roach again and I wanted to update you guys on this one as well here he is look at him this is our feather like baboon female sub adult well it's very close to being an adult I mean like around two more molds I think we was quoted around two more molds but yeah so let's see if the curly hair wants some food let's just slowly open it Curly hairs typically never really refuse food, but gonna see. Honestly, these roaches have changed my life from ever since that comment that I got given to use roaches instead of crickets. Amazing! I just bought this tub. They haven't died or nothing, right? So let's go. Let me Where's it going? I'm sure he will eat. It's fine. Oh no, actually no. Yeah, well, bad luck with that one. It's okay. He did eat yesterday, so I don't I don't really mind. And we did move him to a new enclosure because as you guys saw on Monday's video, his video is going up on Friday. He was in a smaller one, which I didn't really like because he'll 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 molt once and then I have to change it again, which is a pain. But don't you guys worry, we'll make it up. You know the show of the star. Green bottle blue. I'm gonna chuck a cricket in there for him. He's gonna take it like a champ. Let's get a nice little close up on that one. Right, guys, are you guys ready? Let's go, come on. There you go, amazing takedown. Never, ever, ever, ever declines food. Honestly, green bottle blues are the thing. Honestly, if you guys wanna bust tarantula. But 
yeah so that was the video for today and i hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure you like comment um let's get to 100 subscribers by by the end in in two weeks that is the goal so i'm going to leave the scope in here for you guys until i do the intro the outro so yeah guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up comment something make sure you subscribe please it would be massive help not just to me but for future content so yeah and i hope you guys learn more from from this video and yeah so we'll see you again on monday bye bye